What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building, and around the release of Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns, Ed Boon did a series of very interesting interviews, touching on some very interesting topics. Now of course, things were busy around that time, so we didn't get a chance to talk about these things, but today we got time. Now previously we touched on the topic of year 2 cameos, but today we're touching on something a whole lot bigger because we're talking about what's next in line for NetherRealm Studios. Now this topic got a little bit controversial and Ed Boon had to jump in and clean things up a little bit, but at the end of the day, I think we got some good information that ties back into something we learned about in the past. So, we gotta talk about it. But first, don't forget to drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you don't wanna miss any updates on Mortal Kombat 1 or NetherRealm Studios' next game. Now let's get into it. Man, man, boy, they coming down. All right, so we're going to kick this thing off by digging into a small excerpt from an interview Ed Boon did with Comic Book, but you got to pay attention because this onion has a lot of layers to it. Let's go ahead and peel back the first one. So this is from Logan Moore. And the choice of words are very important here because it made people believe that this was something that it in fact was not. But I don't think it was done maliciously or with intent. They kind of tried to summarize what Ed Boon was saying, but they created a monster. So the article says, NetherRealm Studios boss Ed Boon says that the developer has been working on its next game after Mortal Kombat 1 to some degree for three years. Now, Ed Boon did not say we were working on this game for three years. He said a bit more words than that, but they kind of combined those words into just working, and it made it sound like they started making this game three years ago, which means the game could be ready any minute now, and that's just not the case. As far as we know, as far as we know, but we'll get to that. Let's see what Ed Boon actually said. So this is the quote from Ed Boon. I've said this before, but we start planning the next game long before we're done with the previous game, Boone said. There is so much prep work, research, and planning. It is absolutely not the case that when we finish a game, we go, okay, what are we doing next? There's a lot of people who need to be working on something. Have y'all seen the end credits for Mortal Kombat 1? Literally 20 minutes. There's definitely a lot of people who need to be working on something. But Ed Boon continues. We've known what our next game was gonna be three years ago. Well, tell us. Now I need to know too. And we've been working on it in some capacity ever since. You know what? I just blame Logan from Comic Book for creating this monster, but I gotta take the blame off Logan. Not all the way though. Logan was definitely Shang Tsung, but Ed Boon's Quan Chi because he pretty much said the same thing. Logan just said they've been working on it to some degree, but Ed Boon said they were working on it in some capacity. But I think there's an important part of this quote. The important part is the fact that he said there's so much prep work, research, and planning. That doesn't mean they're full-blown working on it. It sounds like they're in the early stages. Well, I would say they probably were in the early stages because at this point, you would think they got most hands on deck working on the next game while they got a bulked up Brock Lesnar style skeleton crew still working on skins, invasions, missions, um, and even the DLC characters for Mortal Kombat 1. Now that's all speculation. I don't know. But the hype for Chaos Reigns was at an all time high. And then this article dropped and started pulling the momentum away because people started talking about NetherRealm Studios next game. So Ed Boon had to jump in front of it and shut it down. He took to X and said, love the fact that there's excitement for our next game. And I don't want to be a stickler for words, but we haven't been working on our next game for the last three years already. The actual quote was that we knew what our next game was going to be three years ago. NetherRealm Studios is still fully committed to Mortal Kombat 1 for a very long time to come. We get a heart. We get the dragon, which Liu Kang was not for his animality and I am still very upset about, and we get the animality to follow. Now listen, they could still be committed to Mortal Kombat 1 while working on their next game. If the music design team is done, they can go find something else to do. If the stage design team is done, 
they can go find something else to do. If the story writers are done, which I hope they aren't because I really hope we get another story expansion for Mortal Kombat 1. But if they are, then they can go find something else to do as well. Now, this is where that Brock Lesnar style skeleton crew comes in. Because even if you got to send off your main writer to work on the next game, I'm sure they got some under guys who can come in and pin the story we get after Chaos Reigns. In fact, keep those stories going until we get Mortal Kombat 13. I know that's greedy, but that's exactly what I want to see. So that brings us to the next part of this. The next game is already locked in, and they've known what it was going to be for three years. What is that next game going to be? The easy answer is Injustice 3. But based on some things we've heard Ed Boon say in the past, I think the fact that they knew what this game was going to be for the last three years means that that game is definitely not Injustice 3. Before we get into those tweets, big shout out to Mortal Kombat Addict who says, they pulled an IGN on you. I don't know Mortal Kombat Addict. <laughs> After looking at the interaction again, I think Ed Boon and Logan were the deadly alliance who made this whole thing blow up. But let's go ahead and see what's going on with Injustice 3. So this is a tweet that I always come back to, and it's from one of Ed Boon's always exciting Ask Me Stuff events. Which he needs to do another one because somebody has to ask this man if we're getting another story expansion. The question is, how's the new game coming along? Can't wait to see what you guys have in store this time. That was Anthony, and the game was Mortal Kombat 1. Ed Boon answers, good, but we've got more than one pot on the stove. So, that interview actually didn't tell us anything new. We already knew they were working on the next game, even if it was just in the planning stages. But this next part should probably have the people who want Injustice 3 a bit worried. And trust me, I want it too. But after I show you what I'm about to show you, you'll realize that it's not looking too good for Injustice 3. And... Ed Boon teased us with another game that I kind of want a little bit more than that, so we'll talk about that one as well in a minute. So this continues Ed Boon's Ask Me Stuff series. When is the new Injustice game coming out? Ed Boon responds, not ready to talk about that yet. That's not enough to count it out, right? Let's continue. The next one says, will we get Beast Boy in the next Injustice game? Ed Boon says, if we make another Injustice game, then I would say likely. Now, you got to realize, they knew what the next game was for three years now. This was in 2022. So at this point, they already knew Mortal Kombat 1 was coming, and they knew what the next game was. And he's saying if we make another Injustice game. But it's Ed Boon. He could be saying that to throw us off, right? Let's continue. The next one says, are we getting Mortal Kombat 12 or Injustice 3? Ed Boon responds, I hope both. The order of which, I can't say now. Now we know we got Mortal Kombat 1 and Injustice 3 should follow behind it if they are making Injustice 3. But he's saying, I hope both. Why are you hoping for Injustice 3 if you already know what the next game is? Now let's look at the final tweet that kind of fully counts Injustice 3 out for me. Daniel Brand simply says Injustice 3. And Ed Boon responds, it's something I hope we get to make. Keep in mind, all of these posts were in 2022, a point where they already knew what the game after Mortal Kombat 1 was going to be, yet Ed Boon is responding to every Injustice 3 comment with hope. That leads me to believe it ain't happening. So if the next game is not Injustice 3, what could it be? Well, there was one post he made that was not hopeful. It was, in fact, pretty confident. And this was just recently. Jim's Retro Emporium says, which Mortal Kombat duo do you think deserves their own Shaolin Monk style spinoff game? Jackson Sonya, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, Raiden and Fujin, or Melina and Katana? Ed Boon says, without a doubt, if, when, we do one, it will be Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Not it should, not it would, it will be Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So, I'm not here to tell y'all 100%, but I'm here to tell y'all there is a possibility that this next game from NetherRealm Studios could be Mortal Kombat Fire and Ice starring Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Now, that could be a really good thing or it could be a really bad thing because if it's Scorpion and Sub-Zero, we could be taking a trip back to the previous timeline and that would keep that lore alive. Or if they wanted to do it in a new timeline, our Sub-Zero was gone. So how do you make a story between Scorpion and Sub-Zero interesting? 
Kuan Yang would have to somehow gain ice powers and take up that mantle of Sub-Zero. Whatever, I'll take it. Better than Frost. But the game would be focused around him training a young Hanzo Asashi to become Scorpion. Think about it like the new God of War games. Kuan Yang's in the role of Kratos, Hanzo Asashi is in the role of Atreus. We could have Quan Chi kill Smoke, now the Shirai Ryu has to go get him, and we're off to the races. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. They could not put Sub-Zero in the Shirai Ryu. But what do y'all think? What game would y'all want to see next? Would you want to see another Shaolin Monk style game? Or would y'all be fine with Injustice 3? Personally, I'll be fine with either. But let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bomb Squad, let's get to that. Thank you.